in addition to glutamate and GABA. There are numerous modulatory neurotransmitters. The key ones are dopamine and acetylcholine that modify or focus the signals in the basal ganglia pathways for normal movement. Within the dorsal striatum, dopaminergic neurons act upon medium spiny neurons to regulate movement. In general, dopamine provides a go signal for movement. Depending on the receptor type, dopamine can either act as an excitatory or an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Dopamine imbalance in the basal ganglia results in various involuntary hyperkinetic movement disorders, such as Huntington's disease chorea and hypokinetic movement disorders, like Parkinson's disease. Acetylcholine is produced in a population of striatal interneurons. It is also modulatory, like dopamine, where its function depends on the receptor type, but generally provides a stop signal to movement. Serotonin and norepinephrine are lesser understood neurotransmitters in the basal ganglia network that appear to modulate dopaminergic control for normal movement. The ultimate actions of these neurotransmitters depend on the receptor type and location that they engage and other adjacent neurotransmitter inputs. Dopamine signaling within the dorsal striatum plays a critical role in the control of movements. When a presynaptic dopaminergic neuron receives a signal, synaptic vesicles fuse with the neuron membrane to release dopamine into the synaptic cleft. The dopamine diffuses within the synaptic cleft to bind to its receptors on the postsynaptic neuron membrane, thereby transmitting a signal. Much of the released dopamine is recycled by the presynaptic neuron through reuptake by dopamine transporters and is subsequently repackaged from the cytoplasm into synaptic vesicles by the vesicular monoamine transporter 2, also known as VMAT2. In addition to packaging recycled dopamine, VMAT2 also transports newly produced dopamine from the cytoplasm into synaptic vesicles for future release. The VMAT2 inhibitor class of medications target and bind to VMAT2 on synaptic vesicles to reduce the packaging of both newly produced and recycled dopamine into vesicles. The unpackaged dopamine within the cytoplasm is subsequently degraded by monoamine oxidase. Thus, inhibition of VMAT2 reduces the amount of dopamine in each vesicle available for future signaling. Ultimately, when the dopaminergic neuron receives a new signal, less dopamine is now released into the synaptic cleft to bind to its postsynaptic receptors, resulting in reduced signal transmission. It is presumed that this reduced dopamine signaling is how VMAT2 inhibitors reduce involuntary movements in hyperkinetic movement disorders.